Hey, Papi. Hey, at least he knows what he wants. Oh my gosh, he's, it's never, I love him. He's, So, you got some stuff going on. It's wide open and... Yeah, so we try to like kind of maintain the... the um, it's the just weeds. so hard to do when it was so wet. Was uh, oh, I know with all the rain, eh? Yeah. Holy cow. We tried like, we were, we were anticipating like seed, grass, in the, like kind of like in the beginning of summer, but no, it just kept going. The snow and then the rain. Maximus we got a guy to kind of dig a trench around the back to kind of have everything run off and then go along the back of the... Uh, how much water was collecting, do you think? Quite a bit, especially in the corner where you kick the ball right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to have a yard. You can just do that with the yeah. dog, though. So we'll go take a look and see. And see, so you're thinking of putting gra like you want it looking like this. Are you thinking, or what are you thinking? Yeah, just kind of. Like you got to cut it all. Yeah, just kind of like leveled out and seated. Oh, she doesn't care. I'm the one that's cut her all, right? <laughs> you got a rider? I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. I held off this year because I knew this wouldn't go, so I just do all this by hand. Oh, no kidding. Well, it's not like it's just that patch and then this. So and then a bit in the back, and then. Back. It's big enough to push. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely bigger than Garden City. <laughs> I get your steps in, right? It's clean to walk, but yeah, I can see where it's hard to mow this. Oh yeah, here is low. So this is that little trench that he cut in. Yeah, he took you kind of made it reach a little bit there, but yeah, he kind of went So okay, and it connects in over there. And then it drains. Oh yeah, it's soggy here. And you said you guys didn't have any issues with your house though, right? You gotta, Definitely. it goes this way a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I got a hole there. Sure. Is this, what is this? Oh, that's a footing. Footing. So it goes to here. Are you looking to continue this through? At some point, yeah. I know over the years, I guess it probably went out that way to a degree, but I think the previous homeowner just dumped a lot of his yard waste over here and it slowly spilled up. Oh, okay. So I think in the fall, I'm gonna try and chip away at it. Bring it out there. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so we want to crush all that up and turn it into uh, basically a seed bed. I will, there's a thing called a flail mower. It's been hard to find one this year. There's one in Winkler, mm -hmm. but for a one day rental, hard to go out to Winkler, but I'll make a couple more phone calls because um, you're not the first person to ask. Basically a flail flow mower just shreds everything up. And it'll turn everything into, like you basically can plant after. You don't have to bring in really any material. Okay. Which is, it's gonna, most of your cost is gonna be material bringing it all in. Like, you mean like soil? Soil, right? yeah, like topsoil or whatever. Like there's nothing wrong with the wood chips. And it's, it's, um, I can go either way. Like if you shred it up, it's to that point where it's not fresh wood anymore. Yeah. But, It'll still last as ground cover for a couple of years too. It's just so wet back here that it's it's mucky. So it's all clay, right? So, but yeah, we could try that with a flail mower and then have everything kind of go into a little swale and plant some grass and keep it that way. And then it'll look like something similar to this. So we could do that. Uh, I'm gonna go look at the other side too. See what it looks like over here. It's surprising how like, I mean, your prairie grass has grown in, but otherwise no trees or anything have really grown. Yeah, I got a little swale thing going on here. Some grasses. Yeah, basically this shit just needs to get shredded up. But it's pretty, it's wet from like being waterlogged, but the wood itself is decayed pretty well. There's not much left. It's crazy that this has looked like that. 
last year. Mm -hmm. Now it's wide open. But yeah, this would be nice if it was grass. So we need something to shred this. Um, I mean, we could bring topsoil in. It is actually standing over here like it is severely sloped so if you want us to raise it up a bit um we can do that i could bring in some topsoil and have it trucked in if you want to do that i'll look into the flail mower that would be a nice option to just shred everything up okay. and that's um, just sh shredding the existing it basically turns it into compost okay it'll be like so all the wood chips and whatever's left over for the wood and stuff or whatever it'd be shredded right. yeah it'd be pretty much mud so and then some topsoil would be nice so i'll grab them i'll take a measurement of what we do what we have cleared and then um i'll uh figure out what we should bring in for topsoil and we could spread that in you guys looking to seed this and everything still this fall or what um, are your thoughts? i mean if um we don't we don't really i mean it's is it kind of getting late is it you can see uh so there's kind of a period where i don't like the seed which is Halfway through September up until middle of October, I don't like the seed. Grass takes about six to eight weeks to establish well. And so I like to give it enough time to actually do that. And we run the risk of frost coming in yeah. mid growth. So then I would either, if we have time, I would seed it right at the beginning of September yeah. or right before it snows. Yeah. And then you can do, once there's frost, it'll stay dormant and then the seed will grow in the spring when, this, when the snow melts. And that's fine, because you got lots of water there, so. Canada Post, look at this delivery. Over here on Amazon, as usual. Excuse me for one sec. Hey, what's up, buddy? It's nice they bring it right to you, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't know anyone doing some construction out here either, eh? No, but depending on... For a clean fill? Because topsoil, you only need two, three inches, eh, on yeah. top? For the rest of it, you just bring fill. I got a buddy up the road that wanted to clear Because free material is free material. 